already packed Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a speed clean. I have a big to-do list. It's not gonna be like a power hour. It would be super nice if I could get it done during nap time, but it's just gonna be like a speed clean between daily living. It might take me all day. I really hope it doesn't, um, but I just have like little tiny things on my list that I wanna get done. Yesterday, I was in the start of filming a whole house like complete disaster for you guys because my house was a complete disaster. After having family here for four days, we just kind of spent time together and didn't really worry about picking up. And I will show you a clip of what my house looked like. what my house looked like I was getting ready to film it and I was just completely overwhelmed if you film cleaning videos then you know it's kind of overwhelming especially when you have a big mess it takes you at least twice as long than it should because you got to move the camera around and then I just it was nice outside we went outside and played and then we just kind of had like a three-year-old toddler moment so it kind of mentally drained me and I just want you to know that, you know, for the people out there, you're not alone. If you have a three-year-old or a one-year-old or more than one kid, I feel you. So today I am going to get this list done. Last night I cleaned up that mess. So my house is pretty much kind of in order but there is things that I need to still get done. Um, and I'm also, I did film a grocery haul, just like a small grocery haul for about four days worth of grocery. I'm gonna go ahead and put that clip in here and kind of show you what I got yesterday. So just picked up my groceries this morning. It is a Tuesday right now and normally, I pick up groceries on a Sunday, but because we had family in, we were kind of doing like special dinners or we would go out to dinner. So I kind of waited to get my groceries until this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got for roughly about $90. I do have a lot of like the staple items already, like in the fridge. We have pork for pork fried rice, a whole milk, and four bottles of water. These are all for the espresso machine. We have the assorted gummies because Emma's been asking for gummies almost every day. I have bananas, plus I got a bag of organic apples that I've already put away. I got a Lunchable, shredded cheese, and this for homemade pizzas on Friday. The girls yogurts, and then I decided to buy these again because I just haven't had them in a couple of weeks or months almost. Got these for Chloe, an orange juice stocked up on honey i've been using that with my tea i got these breakfast bars that i like as a snack and sometimes i eat them for breakfast i got these i originally bought two cans of them because they were on sale but apparently they only gave me one and said the other one was out of stock i had to stock up on mayonnaise we got this as a snack and bread and this and then the only other thing that i've already kind of put away is <sighs> These I like to buy as like a last second lunch. They're really good for me and the girls like them and it's just like veggie pasta. So got two of those. Do you miss me at all? This ended up being an all day clean with me for sure. I may have not had too many things on my list. But there were definitely things that I wanted to get done this day and it took me all day because I have kids and life happens. I spent a lot of time with them and I had to stop quite a bit of times. I had to go pick Emma up from preschool. I had to get dinner started. It was just actually a very long day. Something in the air, always something in the air. So funny thing is throughout this video I have seen while editing this I have quite a few things on me like there is a gourd sticker on my leg I don't know how it got there I don't know how long it had been there 
until I watched this video, but my daughter has a string on the fire mantle right there where she put a whole bunch of false stickers on it. But what I'm doing here is my mom taught me a hack with feather pillows if you don't want them to constantly be like shedding all over your house. Take a few trash bags or grocery bags and put them around the insert and then put them on like back in the pillowcase and they shouldn't come through the pillowcase. But once, you know, I find some fairly cheap inserts, I'm getting rid of these fellow or er, feather inserts. Like I just can't do it anymore. Like they are everywhere. But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the end, always something in the end So we do all our whites together, mainly it's just like bed sheets and towels And we just had my in-laws in, so what I did here today as I needed to wash the whites and of course you see me unloading the dryer which was a load of clothes that were clean and I don't remember how long they've been in there but yeah how to get that done Whew. okay <clears throat> I still have a cough and it's been like forever um, so I only got two things done on my list so far um, but I did actually get to stop and like edit everything that I did um, so that's good because I don't want to be up till 1 a.m. doing everything for this video because I just kind of took a mental day yesterday like I said but does anybody else make list upon list I'm gonna show you I bought this notebook at TJ Maxx over the weekend i have it kind of flipped but it's just kind of like i don't know if that's i don't even think that's leather but it looks like leather um it was only six dollars but i have like list upon list upon list i just have like essential oils um like the list of things i want to order i have uh things that we need to buy in the house i have my list for the video I have things that I want and need, like that I want to buy for myself. I have the girls' Christmas list going, and then I just have stuff for this video today. So I'm really loving this book. They actually had all kinds of them. So go to your local TJ Maxx and find this book if this is the SKU number. I will see if they have it online because I do know that sometimes they sell things online. So if I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys. But Chloe just woke up and I need to go get her. So this would be item number two that I have seen on myself while editing. There is a feather, a feather guys, a feather on my back. And I'm just now seeing it here, but I see it later on in my video. So. Heck, that could still be on my shirt as I'm doing this voiceover. I just haven't looked back there to see if it's still there. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I want to go ahead and say hi. My name is Kristen. This is Life Made Simple. I'm so glad that you guys are here watching. It means so much to me. Make sure you take the time to comment down below. Just say hi. Say how you found my channel. Just tell me anything, honestly. I love connecting. This is like probably one of my favorite parts about YouTube is the friendships that you can make and the people that you talk to. Like there's people I talk to in the comment section every video and I look forward to that every single time. Here I'm just making my thief's cleaner. I just got some new oils today. I got clove and orange. I've never had those ones and oh my gosh this smell exactly like a fall scent like it just reminded me of like a fall candle I've had from Bath and Body Works before so so excited that I found that I 
I've had so many people say that they've never seen this Clorox urine spray and I love it. It literally does kind of just block that urine smell. It works on carpets and rugs and the toilet, like any surface. It's never stained any rugs, never any fabrics or anything like that. And it says it right on the bottle that it's good for that stuff. But I was actually reading the bottle right about now and I don't think it disinfects even though it's just Clorox. I just think it's a urine blocker like stain remover so just keep that in mind if you're going to use it in our bath in your bathroom to use like either regular Clorox wipes or some other cleaner on top of it but it is good to like keep that urine smell at bay <laughs> This is kind of funny because my daughter does not use this tiny potty anymore. It's more of just a stepping stool for her. And as I'm cleaning it, I realize there was pee on it. Like, I don't know if she had an accident and something leaked through the top or maybe she used it when I didn't know that she used it. And so, cause she's asked me before like, oh, can I go on this? And I'm like, oh no, wait, you're too big to be doing that. Like, let's go on the big girl potty. So I was like, I just had to laugh at myself that that's what happened. Made me stay up night. I can see you are different too. Love me like a stranger. Like a melody. I also highly recommend this shower head. You can't see the top part, but it's a fairly big like shower head that puts a lot out, but it has this little handle and it actually has a scrubber so you can scrub the tub, but I just felt like using the magic eraser this night. And then it has a dog washer and it has different speeds. So it says it's meant for babies that don't want a lot of water in their face. I love it. Like it's actually coming with us when we move and I'm gonna put a cheap one in here. <laughs> So if you've made it this far in the video, I want to say congratulations. Thank you for watching my video, but you are about to see one of the funniest things that I think I've recorded. Um, you just wait and see. Like it is so funny. I don't know how I didn't notice this while I was filming, but it never seemed to face me. Yes, that was a diaper. That was my daughter's diaper because my husband was getting her ready for a bath. <laughs> so this is everything on my list that I got done. I pretty much got all of it done and this is the last thing to do is just to fold the whites. This is about half of the whites because actually not all of them dried the first time. I think they got too bundled up. So yeah, and it was quite a hassle. If you continue to watch to the end, you will see that my youngest pretty much destroyed everything that I folded but it was so cute and funny we all ended up laughing because she was just being so crazy and normally she's just like ready for bed at this point thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one bye